hey cuties welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here if this is your first time on my channel you're very much welcome please click that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos thank you so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this one shoulder blouse as you can see i'm loving it and i'm rocking it right here so if you guys want to find out how to make this make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up thank you now to make this blouse or top you're going to be needing your basic pattern or princess dart pattern any one you want to use the same technique will be applied as you can see i have both the front and the back bodies with me so whichever bodies you choose to use the basic or the princess seam get it ready and we'll go over to work on these bodies i have here the neckline was cut on 4 inches by 4 inches, both length and depth, okay? So also know that you can cut straight on your fabric. I'm just using this paper because the fabric I use has a lot of flowers in it and may distort some things. Now assuming that you've cut this on your fabric, this is going to be the right side of your fabric, okay? So now the next thing to do now is to determine where you want the off shoulder to be, whether right or left. And as you can see here, I want the off shoulder to be at the left side. So I'm just going to go ahead and level this right and left so that you can be able to differentiate it. Next, after labeling this, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure where I want the off shoulder to be. You can make yours higher or lower. But what I did was to measure from that shoulder area down by two and a half inches. So in case you don't understand what I mean, this is exactly it. So as you can see, I've already marked two and a half inches measuring from the shoulder line down. Now that I've marked that already, the next thing I'm going to decide is how to connect it to the neckline. Now you can take your neckline lower or higher, but this matches well with what I want to achieve. So I'm just going to use my French curve like this, and I'm going to connect it all the way from the neckline to the armpit area as you can see i've done that already so guys this is all the modification you need for the front piece you just have to take note of where the right and left hand side is so that you apply the off shoulder appropriately at the back side now this is the back bodice now the first thing i did was to pin up the zip allowance and i'm going to open it up and take note that you can do it straight on your fabric okay and assume this is the right side of your fabric right here and the neckline at this area is equally four inches width and then the depth of it is one and a half inch okay so make sure the width matches well with the front piece now the next thing i'm going to decide is where to put the off shoulder and remember that the off shoulder for the front piece was at the left hand side so i'm just going to level this right and left first to avoid confusion now to make sure that this tutorial is well understood i'm going to place the front piece as if i'm placing it right side to right side to each other on our main fabric so that you understand where the left hand side and right hand side ought to be so right now this is the front piece that we modified as you can see now i'm going to place this as if i'm placing it right side to right side to the fabric remember where we marked at the front is actually the right side of the fabric now i'm putting it right side to right side and as you can see here is the left while this side is the right so i'm just going to go ahead and level it so that we continue with the modification so now that we've determined where the left and right hand side is at the back bodies we're just going to measure the same two and a half inches from the shoulder line area downwards and you're going to mark it right there as you can see that's what i'm going to mark now so darling if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please click the subscribe button now thank you so now back to business after marking this now you have to determine how you want to mark the depth of the back side you can mark it like round neck you can equally make it a v-neck asymmetric neckline you know high low you can do any sort of thing you want with this back you know make it yours but what i'm simply going to do right now is to just measure about 
one inch down because I, don't, I didn't want the neck to be too low so I measured just one inch down and then that is where I left mine to be so now as you can see I've, I've marked this one inch in and next I'm going to connect it all the way to this armpit area you can use freehand or you can simply use your French curve or any other tool that can help you but as you can see I did mine with freehand and I'm enjoying it so as you can see I've cut this out already both the front and the back now we're going to work on the sleeves now for the sleeves I'm just going to be using a basic sleeve for this but you can always use any kind of sleeve you want any style of sleeve you want you can apply but i'm just going to use this basic sleeve for this tutorial now this sleeve is going to be at the off shoulder area and what i'm simply going to do is to measure from the cup height about two and a half inches also and measure all around the cap of the sleeve so as you can see i'm marking the two and a half inches all around placing my tape at the tip of the sleeve cap to make sure the measurements are balanced so as you can see I've marked this already and the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out my fabric the lining the interface if you're adding breast pad you can cut as well and we'll go over to sewing proper now to quickly put this together you're going to join your princess seam in if you're using a basic body so you can just sew in your dot and then you're going to do the same on your lining then for the back side you're just going to sew your dart marking your dart using your pattern to trace in your dart you're going to sew your lining as well sew the dart of your lining as well now after joining the main fabric and the lining I place the wrong the lining onto the main fabric right side to right side to each other and I'm just going to stitch the neckline area by half inch so next I did the same for the back piece I placed the lining on the right side of the fabric right side to right side to each other and I sew it up so next I'm going to notch this neckline areas okay after notching it you're going to turn this like this flip it to the front side now the next thing is to stitch your lining onto your main fabric by giving it a stitch all around okay on both sides now if you also wish you can top stitch at the neckline area afterwards but that one is optional so at this part of the full shoulder I'm not going to stitch all the way in because I need to use the opening to join the shoulder of the front piece of the bodies and the back side together now for the front piece after sewing the neckline you can either notch it before turning over or you can just use this half inch and stitch it all around onto the lining part to keep the neckline relaxed now the next thing I did now is to pin up the seam allowance of the back piece that is the zip allowance of the back piece up so that I can get it ready for joining both the front and the back piece together now after sewing in our lining I'm going to place the back side to the front bodies together and I'm going to sew the side seam together now I'm also going to join the shoulders as well so if you want to learn how to join the shoulder of your bodies like this I'll put a link in the description box below for the video now for the sleeve that will stay on the left hand side this is the right side of the fabric you place your lining on it then I'm not going to be stitching the, the lower part because I want to add additional fabric there so I'm just going to sew by half inch the same half inch on this area as well and then after sewing it I'm going to notch it and turn it over to the right side and as you can see right here I've done the sewing already and I've notched this area and I'm just going to turn this over and then after doing this I'm just going to join the lining to the main fabric by stitching it all around like this so now for the sleeve that will stay on the right side of the bodice this is the wrong side of your fabric okay and you're going to place your lining on it 
and then stitch it all around like this now the next thing I'm going to do now is to join the side seam together to stitch the sleeves by the side seam together now after doing that I'm just going to go ahead and add whatever remaining on the bottom part of the sleeve as you can see the main work is really done and you see where the sleeves fall in the full sleeves goes for the one with shoulder while the off shoulder sleeve goes for the off shoulder part and then you can add the bodies to a dress or any other way you want to add it so guys this is how it turned out if you want to learn how to make this sleeve i have a similar tutorial already that i've done for this make sure you check it out i'll put the link in the description box below and thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up yet to subscribe please click the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos take care of you guys see you guys in my next tutorial bye